three adjustment. It took me all week, but my schedule has more or less evened out by now. I get up sometime around dusk each night. Though it is not strictly necessary, I like to get up before the sun has completely set, because it makes it easier for me to light the magically enchanted lanterns around the observatory. If I want to sleep in, I will have to carry the one clap-toggled lantern that I have in my bedroom all around the tower to do it. The food that I have here is surprisingly varied, considering that whoever selects the food will not be the one to eat it. I was never one for cooking, actually, so I would not know where to start with about half of what I have. I will have to speak to some pony about that later. It would be a shame to waste extravagant ingredients on some pony who will not use them. I tried experimenting with the spices this morning, and I have decided that I will not endanger my life in such a way again. I have done very little actual work so far. Most of my time has been divided between catching up on star fires sometimes lacking records, and learning everything about the tools that I have available. The Linz collection here is simply amazing. The storage area for the lenses even has an indexing system similar to that of a library, and for the same reason. They are of the highest quality I have ever seen as well. I have yet to find an imperfection in even one of them, and I have been looking for one. I almost had a nasty spill with one of them while I was removing it from the main telescope, but dumb luck caught the massive piece of falling glass in the ropes under the harness. The most annoying thing that I have come across so far is rain. First of all, I cannot view the sky on nights when it rains. That is a little bit of a problem for an astronomer. I have to spend the time in the back of the observatory going over old notes and such. That is not a problem right now because I have not read everything Starfire wrote down, but eventually I will run out of those notes and will have to find other things to occupy my time on rainy nights. I suppose that if it takes a turn for the West, I can always read the newspapers that the guards leave. The other bad part about the rain is that it leaves quite a mess. Because there is no roof, I will have to dry the lenses of all the telescopes after each shower. On the plus side, the floor under the roofless portion of the observatory is scored, so that it both lets the water drain easily and provides grip even when it is wet. I did not realize that until after the first shower. Thankfully, there has only been one so far. I should get back to work now. I am finally getting into the swing of things and staying occupied in ways that are actually productive. And I want to use all of the moonlight that I have before the sun comes up, and I cannot work.